Students at Fort Valley State University say the school let go of the manager of the student radio station. Charlie Ellis had worked with the school's communications program, and students say the move is not going to silence them. Communications, criminal justice, and engineering students all take part in Power Jam's 96.9. They say station manager Ellis mentors them and helps them get jobs quickly after graduation. Megan Western talked with students about Ellis's impact and what they want to happen next. Students in radio at Fort Valley State worry the airwaves will never be the same. It's hard to bring up radio or television at Fort Valley State without her name being mentioned. The school laid off senior manager Shirley Ellis, known as Mama Mia on air, blaming budget cuts, which cuts deep for Justin Harris, who transferred schools just to work under Ellis. So I remember hitting her up and I said, Miss Ellis, if I come home, would you leave? And she told me if I come home, you know, I'll say you'll be the reason I stay. Students say they come for her spirit and engaging teaching style. She's just more active. She uh, pays attention to the students a lot more than any other professors that I've been around, and she's just always there for us. She actually puts us in the field. Like with the other professors, um, all they do is just like um, give us lectures, give us textbooks, show us PowerPoints. And they add that this field work is a recipe for success. Uh, I just accepted an internship at the University of Georgia with their radio program just because of Miss Ellis. Uh, I have been able to uh, go to the Steve Harvey morning show, the Ricky Smiley morning show. Now, students worry about future opportunities. If it was because of budget cuts, who can you afford with the background and the passion other than Miss Ellis? And they're also worried about their campus life, like their weekly jam in the calf. Miss Ellis would help us be, bring safe events that students would love to come out to and enjoy it. To the university, I hope we're moving in the right direction. But I, I'm just letting you know, your student body doesn't think as well. In Fort Valley, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Some students say they want to meet with university leaders about the decision. Ellis tells us she appreciates everyone's support and she plans to release her own statement by the end of the week. We were unable to reach university leadership for comment on this story. We're also taking a look at system-wide budget cuts impacting state colleges and universities everywhere. 20 schools are already planning to receive less money next fiscal year due to enrollment declines, and the state's recently passed budget includes an additional $66 million decrease in funding. The Board of Regents says that will impact teaching budget, staff, and students. Close to 80% of the system's teaching costs are personnel. The Board of Regents website says Fort Valley State University will lose $673,000. Six in ten Americans say the financial burden of earning a degree makes higher education inaccessible. Nationwide, undergraduate enrollment dropped by 8% or more than 1 million students from the fall of 2019 to 2022. Last year, 15.1 million students were enrolled in undergrad degree programs in U.S. colleges.